mass unfollows are coming. Ever see one of those accounts that has like 100,000 followers, but then, you know, like they'll post a photo and it'll get like 30 likes, or they'll post a reel and it'll get like 3,000 views. There's two reasons for this. One is they just, you know, they use like some bot farm and got a bunch of bot followers, but I mean, Instagram catches you for that now and shuts your account down. Shut it down! Shut it down! Maybe, but I don't think so. But what I think happened is that in early 2020, during the pandemic, a whole bunch of accounts just had exponential growth. You know, they went from a thousand followers to 100,000 in a couple of weeks. And you can track accounts and see this. It totally happened. People were just following everywhere because they were on their phones so much. But what happened from there is quite interesting. These people that got the massive followings, they never really engaged with their following. They didn't build a kind of authentic connection with their following and so the people just don't when it pops up they're like I vaguely remember that person did some dance three years ago more than likely they'll click unfollow but you know even that's too much action so they just let the video go past they don't watch it and that's happening more and more now people are actually unfollowing more than they're following which is crazy, right? That's part of the metrical study I've talked about before. That's never been the case. People would normally always follow more than they would unfollow, but that's flipped. There's also something else going on, and that's that Instagram has cracked down on spam or bot accounts, so they'll delete them. So if someone did buy their followers, then overnight they might lose 30,000 followers when they go through and delete all these bots. I'm a bot for bot sake. And likewise, if someone isn't actively using Instagram for more than a year or two, those accounts are starting to not count as an active user. That person might still have their Instagram page, but if they haven't logged in, they're now no longer being counted as a follower. So I think what's gonna happen this year is you're gonna see a lot of those pages with just this sort of bloated following that isn't real, it's gonna go right down. Either from spam accounts being removed, what? <laughs> old accounts being deactivated, they're dead or just people's preference to no longer follow this person that did some silly dance or something. They're gonna wanna follow people that they have an authentic connection with. So how can you benefit from this? If your followers comment on one of your reels or your posts, reply to their comment, man. Like, so many people don't do this. It's like, what are you doing, man? Like, look after your following. It's not that hard. Just like, respond to them, even with a love heart or something, you know? Just, just respond in some way. And then another one that you're probably sleeping on is go find some niche accounts like yours so like for me like other parenting accounts and then go look at the comments on their reels and their carousels and often they're not replying to them right and someone might ask a question and then you can kind of be a little bit cheeky and you can reply to the comment since that person's not respecting their followers you might as well respect them and you can reply to that comment with an answer or whatever the question is and all of a sudden that person's probably going Gonna be thinking well he answers me i'm gonna go follow him and so then they'll jump over and you know they'll come see me they'll come check me out and what's really interesting about that is that even if the person that made the comment and you respond to them even if they don't follow you most of the time people they're like they're having to look through that comment section and they're seeing who's replying and they see you reply they're gonna be thinking ah oh, he, he respects his following i'm going to go give that guy a little follow all of a sudden you've got a whole bunch coming your way so yeah respect the following man let it grow and someone describe your page in one or two sentences recently i was at a baby expo and i actually heard someone talking about my instagram page and it, it went something like this oh you know that kiwi dad guy He's talking today. And then the other mum was like, is that like the funny guy with the jandals? And then she was like, nah, nah, not him. Nah, the guy that like, he does videos with his daughter and they're like parenting tips and stuff. And then she was like, I know that guy. And for me, that was awesome. Cause I was like, perfect. Like, this is, this is what I am. I'm not, I'm not the comedy guy. I'm more the educational guy. And with only one or two sentences, she could figure out like, oh yeah, I know who you're talking about. And I think that is the goal. If, if you can have that with your page, if someone can have a convo about you to someone else and that other person's seen you once or twice and they can say, you know, it's that guy with the tattoo and the watch. I don't know, I'm just coming up with things. But if they can say that about you, 
and the other person can say, oh yeah, yeah, I do know who you're talking about. You've cracked it. You have a personal brand and you're gonna stand out. You've got a point of difference. Rather than copying someone's style, really try and have your own personal brand, your own personal style. How, how can you do this? Like, how can you leverage this? For me personally, I've got little custom thumbnails on all my reels. And I mean, you might not like it. Some people do, some people don't, but it's mine. No one else is doing that right now. So that's my point of difference. And then on the captions of my reels, I have a somewhat unique font. I've picked out my own font. It's not part of the, the CapCut main ones. I pick a different coloring scheme. And all these things mean that when someone sees one of my reels, hopefully they know it's me. And if they don't, they at least probably have an inclination that, hey, I think that's that guy I've seen before. P.S. If you would like to know how to make custom thumbnails for your Instagram reels, then just leave a comment in the comment section and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll have a go and see what I can make. Overall, I am so pumped for 2024. I think a lot of those sort of mediocre content creators are just gonna, they're gonna plummet and fall off. And the people like us that, that are willing to put the work in and make really good quality content, we're gonna do awesome, man. I think we are just gonna blow up and you, you'll be rewarded for it, which is so exciting. Like I think, yeah, the last few years it got a bit wonky and it was almost about cheap hacks that would make you do well. But now, I mean, it's still, you need strategy, but I do think if you put the effort in, you're gonna see results where that didn't always used to be the case. I think it's gonna be the case this year. Man, I'm, I'm pumped. I can't wait, I'm buzzing. I can't wait to see how much you guys grow. In fact, you know what? Leave a comment below of what your follow account is right now on Instagram. Instagram, TikTok, your total following, and then come back to it a year from now and see how much you've grown. Because I think it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to see the difference in numbers. Hopefully people can come back a year later and comment on their comment. I'm buzzing, let's do this. As always, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to improve your stories, then yeah, check out this video. If you wanna grow more, check out this one. But otherwise, stay tuned. It's gonna be an exciting year, team. Ka kite, and I'll see you next time.